every trailer has a life. People connect with what is going on around them and it's so much history. We've been doing Trailer Fest now about eight years and every year it doubled in size until we got to the max capacity. Now we rent the whole park and it's like one big family getting together for a family reunion. My name is Paul Lassitanola and I am the publisher of the Vintage Camper Trailers magazine. For us, the, the thing with the vintage thing, we've always been kind of old souls. So I've always had old cars. I've always um, collected old cars and driven old cars. And so for us, the vintage thing was kind of natural. When, when we started, it really was just because it was cheap and we really didn't know if we'd even like camping. We live in the country and so we're kind of used to that lifestyle. But when we had bought the old trailer, then we thought, well, geez, an old trailer and an old car, those would look cool together. Let's hook them up together. And then we've really got something cool. We've got over 200 trailers here this weekend, all vintage, all manufactured prior to 1969, and we are looking forward to a great time. We got into this and it was a, it, it changed our world. My, my family has mostly passed away. My wife's family lives in Alaska, thousands of miles away, and so we're kind of here on our own, other than this community of hundreds of people that will do anything for us. Most of these people we've camped with for a decade and we camp with them several times a year. We're eating together, we're waking up practically next to each other all groggy and, and you do get to know people on all levels. Camping is all about making memories, making connections, taking a time out. We get so caught up in our day to day running to baseball and 4-H and church and, and camping is just like a little stop in our life to say, okay, this is what matters. The people that we love, this stuff, we aren't gonna get to take it with us. The only thing we're gonna leave is the memories and the love. Well, my husband got started in vintage trailers when he was five years old. If he was a good boy, he got to take his nap in his grandparents' 1956 Mercury trailer. And it was from those early days of taking his naps in the trailer that he got his love for vintage trailers and all the wood and warmth of the inside of the 50s era trailers. So um, when we were in the late 70s and early 80s and our kids were young and we were ready to start camping, um, he decided that we were going to fix up the old trailers and have our kids have the same experience he had. This is our current and probably our forever trailer. It's become quite the passion for me. We decided to do a trailer themed on Annie Oakley. A saloon door that swings in and out. <laughs> Each trailer and, and each individual uh, has its own story and has its own connection, if you will. And so uh, as you look at different trailers, you can probably match them up kind of like people and their pets um, with who goes with which trailer. To be here with all these folks doing what we like to do, which is camping. It's just fun. We always have people that are excited to do what Paul dreams up, so I'm glad that I don't have to be the only one. <laughs> Trailer Fest is a great place to meet up with old friends, and every year we are blessed with bringing new people on board and making new friends that will probably be friends for a lifetime. <laughs>